do you have um like um an ultimate goal? Do you know where you're like where you want to end up or end up with, like not not end up. End up is not the right word, but like a, a place you want to achieve or a place you want to be ultimately. Ultimately, because it's interesting how you switched end up end for up. ultimately. Yeah, not end and, up. Right, like not a place, a place I'd like to be ultimately is what you're asking me. Yeah, because end up seems like you're going to get there and then that's the end. But ultimately, like, I don't, well, I guess ultimately, this, yeah. Look, how I would answer the question with the word ultimately is... It would be great, like for me, like the majority of my life is, is I, I'm a really spiritual person mm -hmm. and my life, you know, so like an ultimate state that I'd like to be able to preserve no matter what's transforming around me, mm -hmm. you know, like, yes, I might have goals about things in the material world that I'd like to create on this planet, but ultimately it's not about that for me. It's about the inner state, right? Mm -hmm. Am I able to remain in a state of neutrality? Am I able to remain connected to my highest consciousness in a state of inner peace through all the things that are going on? Like that would be sort of the ultimate goal is mm -hmm. to have the level of self mastery that allows me to walk on this planet. And because I do believe that we go on from once we leave the physical form that our consciousness goes on that then my consciousness can then carry that state into whatever form or non-form I take after I leave this body. Mm -hmm. where's, your, where's, your, where's your form go? My form will either get, I mean, it just goes back to the earth, right? Like, okay. either get cremated or, I don't know, once I, I mean, once I had this idea about, like, I was like, what if I, but it was really messed up. So my friends were like, don't do that. I was like, what if I, like, had myself, like, prepared because sometimes when I eat I'll say mm -hmm. like a blessing to my food or I do uh -oh. it pull from different cultures like I like in Japan they say itadakimasu mm -hmm. which is acknowledging um it's acknowledging like all of the life force that got that food so you're like I'm giving thanks to the food that I just ate mm -hmm. I'm giving thanks to the people that prepared the food I'm giving thanks to the people that trucked the food to the restaurant mm -hmm. I'm giving thanks to the people that grew the food and so on and so forth so you're acknowledging the whole every little bit of life force that brought this thing to you so but then I started to add because I have a weird sick sense of humor. Mm. I'd be like, and when I die, may something enjoy eating me as much as I'm going to enjoy eating you. Oh. And so then I came up with this idea like that when I funeral, I'd secretly put myself into all of the dishes for the people at the funeral. Okay. And then at the end, I'd make a joke and be like, and now I will be within you all forever. Oh. And I said, please don't do that. So no. I, I decided I'd be mean. Like final trick, and I don't know who I could get to pull that off either. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't didn't they want to? Didn't somebody want to smoke uh, Tupac's ashes or something? Was this was? Would um, Would your friend smoke you? I don't, would you want to smoke somebody's ashes? I don't. I don't smoke. So, I, but this is... I mean, like, if you were to smoke, the last thing you'd want to smoke are ashes because it's already been burnt. Like you smoke fresh herbs. Yeah. Right. You, and then they get burnt. So you don't smoke ashes. Mm. Let me tell you how I figured this out. When I was maybe, I was probably 13 or 14 years old. I lived in New Hampshire mm -hmm. and we had to make fires because it got cold there. So it was a big fireplace. And so I put like the, the Duraflame, you know, log thing in there and put all the wood in and put all the newspapers in. And at some point as a kid who had never smoked before and was curious about it, I had curled up some of the newspaper into a tube that I was going to kind of shove into the fire mm -hmm. and I saw the smoke starting to come mm. out of it and I thought, oh, let me see what this is like. So I put my <laughs> mouth on it and was like, <clears throat> and <clears throat> I mean, okay. obviously it, it was a horrible experience yeah. and throat and everything. So I don't recommend smoking ashes. See? Like <laughs> literally all of the fireplace ashes <clears throat> just came up into my throat. Yeah. You learned that day, didn't you? You learned did. something that day. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. So then, then we need a different technique. So then, the dehydrated first. Dehydrated, oh, right? You're saying my my own body. Yes. So have right. yourself dehydrated. Make like a jerky. Or yeah. Or you smoke. I mean, or it's ground into a powder. Fragranced. I like it. 
make some incense. We may have a new business on our you hands. Know what I'm I, like the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. I, you know, I really, I like the way you think. I really do like the way you think because I feel like this is maybe the fourth time some weird idea came up and you're like, yo, that could be a business. That could <laughs> no. be a business. I, I, that, that's like, you, you're like a, you know how to make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, that's good that's for you. True. Okay, so see now, but this is, <laughs> this is how things come together. Okay, so they, we're going to dehydrate you. You know? Okay. And, okay, so parts could be made into jerky, right? Yeah. And then the rest could be ground into the powder and then made into the incense. Yes. And then your your people can, like, chill out in the room and light the incense. And then your you know, they see the little smoke, you know? How would you feel about that? I mean, I feel like the incense obviously is a great option for my vegan friends, such Mm -hmm. as yourself. Mm -hmm. But let's just say, let's take the jerky away, because I think most people would have, some people, like I probably, because I am not a vegan, like I think I'm just a pure carnivore at heart, Mm -hmm. as much as I like live plant-based, like my, I see meat and my first reaction is like, I will eat that, put it in my mouth now. Mm -hmm. So like I have to work very diligently to not eat meat versus some people who just don't crave meat at all. And so, like, if I actually walked into a funeral and saw my friend in, in, in like, jerky form, I would be curious and I would want to know and I would eat it. But m- I don't think there's many people that would do that. These are so, your these are your friends. These are your friends we're talking about. I don't know who you <laughs> hang out with. You know, I, you know, I'm just throwing I'm, it out there. And so, oh, well, that being said, let's okay. take it to the incense, which is a little bit less removed. You're not putting it into your body. How would you feel? If you showed up at a funeral and it was beautiful and there was cars and there was nice music playing and maybe there was some incense already burning and then everyone was given a little, um, let's say a ceremonial package and you got maybe some crystals in there and some other things and there was an incense and let's say this is the type of funeral that I might have. Mm-hmm. Everyone's sitting in a circle and, and I have everyone, uh, you know, there's someone leading it and uh, everyone's asked to set an intention and to use this special incense mm-hmm. to allow the smoke to carry the intention up to spirit as, and as everyone makes a prayer communally together. Mm-hmm. And then you're informed that the incense has been made from my ashes. Uh, you, first of all, you started this. This is what you said. You said now. My, I I think you should inform the people beforehand. Like before, when you walk in, you should get a card to say, "Be alerted that there will be a ceremony involving incense made from the ashes of your the dearly departed." The powder, yes. And (laughs) I mean, but I think people will know this way beforehand. They don't need a card. Who's going to just be showing up at your funeral not knowing what's going on? Like, people don't just... What if it's a funeral crasher? That's their problem. That's their problem. You know, they shouldn't They shouldn't be messing around anyway. Like, you know what I mean? And uh, so... And then I'll also say the, the beef jerky... The beef jerky... No, not beef jerky. Wait, how do you pronounce your name? I realize I don't think I ever said it out loud once in my life. It's fine. It's nada. Nada. Okay. It's confusing. So nada jerky, right? Nada jerky. But that's not fair. We just call it human jerky. Human. Well, it's you don't name the individual name of each cow. You just say it's beef jerky. You're not like spotty jerky or like cute little fluffy jerky. Yeah, but this is why maybe we should be changing this. This is maybe, a, a, well, yeah, that's you for know, sure. and maybe that people will. House, yeah, it you, might make people think twice. Yeah, yeah. see, I agree. And so, um, but what I want to say is because you've consented to this, this is not necessarily not vegan. You are consenting to your body being used for this purpose. You know, it depends why you're vegan because people are vegan for different reasons. Right. I mean, vegan to me means not consuming animal or animal product. Mm-hmm. And even within that, I mean, some vegans don't eat honey. Some vegans don't eat honey. So there's like different. And some people are vegans purely for the moral reasons. And other people are vegan because they just don't like me. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't do well in their body. Mm-hmm. You know? But, so, but I mean, you, everyone's for a different reason. Yeah. Of course. Of course. 
but that we're talking about your you know of course my stance is yeah be vegan for whatever reason it takes be vegan right but we're talking about eating nada jerky not making these you 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 we're removing it too far you taking it too far away we're talking about your funeral Great. My funeral. Because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to help you get to, you know, I'm throwing out some ideas to. I mean, that, you the, you're really morbid. I mean, you're like, what do you, what's your end goal? And I was like, my end goal is to be eaten as jerky at my funeral. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see this for you. I want you. If you help me yeah, realize what I actually want in life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying, you, you know, how can we smoke, <laughs> inhale you, ingest you? I love it. Okay, um, injections? Like, can we? That's a little intense. This, yeah, that that might be a little too much. When when needles get involved, this. I'm not big needle. Okay. So, all right. So, but then the other question is, even when, because you said.